Yeah, thanks for staying with us on the Sports Mag Zone. Scope World Football Action in Jamaica is nearing FIFA pitch with both the Da Costa and Manning Cup competitions currently at the quarterfinal stage. In the Da Costa Cup, all eight teams play their first of three group games on Wednesday. Mm, let's have a look. Clarendon College beating Christiana by four goals to nil. Glenmuir 2 0 over Manchester. Garvin Maceo impressive as well. 4 0 over BB Cork, who had gone through the round of 16 unbeaten. And Dintel Technical beating Cornwall College by two goals to nil. Group 1 of the quarterfinal round, Clarendon College and Glen Muir on three points. Manchester High and Christiana have it all to do. And then in Group 2, Garver Maceo and Dintel Technical, they are top of the group on three points each. Cornwall College and BB Coke have a lot of work to do if they are to make progress to the next round of the competition, which is the semi final round. Over in the Manning Cup, only one set of quarter final games remain, with the final four to be confirmed by Saturday. The latest set of matches were played on Tuesday. Jamaica College beating Tivoli Gardens 2 1. Kingston College, a big win over St. Andrew Technical 1 0. St. Catherine staying in contention with that 1-0 draw against Mona and St. George's College drawing with Heidel by a goal to nil, meaning that those two will go into their final matches needing only a draw to advance. Shall we have a look at the matches to come on Friday and Saturday? No, first up, the, quarter, the group standings. Kingston College on four points, ahead of St. Andrew Technical on three points, Mona on two and St. Catherine on one. All four teams in this group still have a mathematical chance of making it to the semi-finals and then in group two St. George's College lead on four points alongside Heidel with Jamaica College on three Tipoli Gardens the only team in this group who cannot advance to the semi-finals of the Manning Cup so seven of the eight teams still in semi-final contention with one set of group matches to come those games will be played on Friday on Saturday on Friday St. Andrew Technical play Mona that game will be live on Sports Max two with a pre-game show beginning at 2.30 p.m., 3.30 ECT. Only one of those teams can advance. So it will either be Stats or Mona. St. Catherine will play Kingston College again. Only one of those teams that can advance and Kingston College only need a draw. St. Catherine have to win by two or more goals. Then on Saturday, Jamaica College versus St. George's College. St. George's College only need a draw to advance and then Heidel versus Tivoli. Heidel only need a draw to make it to the semi-finals and the St. George's to make a college game a massive game will be live on Sportsmax Plus so ensure that you download the Sportsmax app yeah Lance this cool boy football season is coming to a cracking conclusion in both the Manning and the Costa Cup competitions but because we're further ahead in the Manning Cup and um, we could have a look at that um, at the start of the season teams I think we all looked at Jamaica College, St. Andrew Technical, Mona as tight to contenders and as it is now at least two of them could be on the outside looking in when the semi-finalists are decided. Yeah, and names have been added to that list as genuine title contenders as well, like, like Heidel and, and even Kingston College, who certainly at the start of the tournament, uh, based on their performances, hadn't looked like genuine title contenders. But you know what they say about Kingston College? They may fall, but never yield. Yeah, and you have to give Vassar Reynolds a lot of credit because Kingston College lost a number of players from last season. Um, and they were in the group of death. Well, that's what it was referred to with um, the likes of Heidel and Calabar and Camperdown and Charlie Smith, all good teams who have done well and gone deep in competitions over the years and for them to come through that group by winning it um, and we see Heidel doing well in the latter stages of the competition as well so it speaks a lot about the quality that was in that group A that Kingston College topped 
and Heidel also came through. Yeah, you know, you started the segment by saying that the two competitions, both at the Costa Cup and uh, the Manning Cup schoolboy football in Jamaica is nearing FIFA. I'm not sure if you said fever pitch or FIFA pitch. <laughs> what, did you, what did you say? Because it sounds as if if you were saying FIFA, you would be suggesting that it's near world class level. <laughs> what did you say? FIFA or FIFA? Uh, the excitement is near world class level, lads. The excitement is near world class level. And I just cannot wait for Friday because um, first, Mona versus Sanandra Technical. Um, just to think that one of these teams will exit the competition at the end of that game. I, I don't know who you think is not going to make it, Lance. Do you think Stats will get the better of Mona or do you think Mona will find a way? Uh, it's, it's hard. It's hard to say. It's hard to see Mona exiting, though. That's, that's the best answer I could give you. That's the best answer. Yeah, Mona, it's hard to see Mona exiting. How about Jamaica College, St. George's College on Saturday? JC have to win. St. George's College need only a draw. Hard to see Jamaica College exiting. <laughs> you know, I expected Lance to say everything that he just said. He's such a safe man. Let's take a break on the Sportsman Zone Interactive. Coming up next, stay with us.